Hi, welcome to this Excel video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to shuffle or rearrange your data using the dynamic arrays. Let's get started. Do remember to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Let's make sense of our sample data set. In this data set, in column C and column D, we have sales executive and payment method sorted or arranged in ascending order okay when you do control down arrow key you can actually see that we have from a to z same thing applies to payment method now the goal is to reshuffle this data and to do that we're going to deploy the sort by and round array dynamic array functions and also the row function let's get started now i'm going to come to cell e2 Let's do the first single column first. Equal sign rand and sort by. Okay. Now the sort by requires the array. So I'm going to just give the entire data in column C, excluding the header. Country shift down arrow key, select downwards, control backspace to move back. And then comma. For the by array, I'm going to throw in the rand array dynamic array function now for the grand array it requires the rows columns main and so on now we're only interested in the rows and for that i'm going to train the row function which returns the row number of a reference so for the reference i'm going to give the entire c2 to c100 country shift down arrow key control backspace close the row close the grand array and the sort by formula now let's check this out f9 cool it's going to show error no problem control z control enter it's amazing it's shuffled or rearranged the data set now we can press f9 to change to calculate now okay or you can come to the formulas tab of the ribbon in the calculation group click on calculate now and of course it recalculates now this is a single column now let's do the multiple column so simple now because we have the payment method in column d all i need to do is to replace this c with d to d rather so let's just do that now because we are working with you know dynamic array formulas it's going to spill to the neighboring column that is column f so control enter whole so you can actually see that this absolutely works okay so we have the payment method also shuffled or rearranged we do not have it in the same order so everything is looking good i can actually check everything or press f9 to recalculate and that's beauty so i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please remember to hit the subscribe button you can share like and comment in the section below because there's a lot to come bye for now cheers